let's have a look at the next question which of the following microorganisms is associated with single cell protein scp nostoc spirulina spirogyra agaricus now uh, we know about uh, protein what is the importance of protein is just diet in our daily you know food habit what is india facing related to malnutrition what all are the deficiencies of our nutrition we know everything about that right we india has seen this international year of uh, pulses now india is going to the demand or request for international year of millets 2018 as international year of millets so all this contain fiber protein and etc so we need to enhance the proteinaceous diet of indian you know the people especially the kids and uh, the children the adolescent age etc so uh, single cell protein is considered to be uh, a very good substitute to major proteinaceous food uh, proteinaceous food pulses are uh, having uh, you know uh, it is expensive for many societies for many parts of the area so uh, single cell protein can be treated as a substitute it's a very less expensive easily producible thing and it can supplement the daily diet that is what uh, the the whole concept is about so which of the organism or which of the uh, microorganism is related or is associated with uh, single cell protein let's have a look at this so we'll see what is single cell protein single cell protein refers to crude or refined protein of algal bacterial mold or yeast origin mold means fungal fungal origin so it is purely from these kind of microorganism algae bacteria fungus or yeast origin which is used either as animal feed or to human food it can serve as protein supplements for livestock as well as humans and expected to reduce the worldwide malnutrition that is what the whole concept is about advantages over other protein sources now uh, we have legum leguminous plants pulses as a major source of protein we have meat and milk as non non vegetarian sources of protein so uh, also soybean soybean is also one of the pulses which is highly proteinaceous now what is the advantage of this single cell protein it is short it it needs only shorter replication time it is small land requirement is just uh, very small land is required for the cultivation algal bloom alga algae can be cultivated even in a tank same way unaffected by weather condition so that is the whole thing uh, how it is uh, inexpensive what all are the requirements what all the criteria for cultivating this kind of single cell protein or organisms algae fungi yeast and bacteria utilizes waste as sources of carbon and energy to produce biomass protein concentrate or amino acids now uh, see uh, we have a, a waste management problem solid waste management problem as well as liquid waste management problem so uh, which all are the processing industries majorly apart from the chemical industries we have food processing industries and other industries which also contaminate the water bodies as well as land uh, giving all the clean, cleaned water etc i mean uh, the water used for cleaning purposes so all those contains for example if i say potato industry the potato industry has uh, potato is very rich in starch so that water uh, the waste water coming from a potato processing industry will have very high amount of starch so that starch if used as a nutrient for this algae culture or yeast culture or fungal fungal culture etc we can develop easily single cell protein microorganism from waste water so that is a statement which you should not make mistake thus this act as a supplement for natural protein or concentrate see with increasing population and worldwide protein shortage the use of scp as food and feed is more high highlighted uh, the the organism we are talking about is spirulina microbes like spirulina can be grown easily on materials like waste water from potato processing plants containing a very high amount of starch straw molasses animal manure and even sewage these are the other examples see molasses means the the by product of sugarcane industry as well as straw industry that also contains starch animal manure even sewage contains a lot of amount of nutrients which can be absorbed a good nutrients which can be approached and make a good utilization of that so to produce large quantities and can serve as food rich in protein fats minerals and uh, fibers etc so the schematic diagram uh, just just to have a proper vision see we have the substrate substrate is nothing but the waste water or whatever we are taking as a substrate to cultivate that that uh, substrate will have anaerobic bacteria or fermenter this scb produce, producing microbes will be placed there or will grow on its own 
with the nutrient supplement I told you already about the starch in the case of potato processing industry then filtration and purification will happen and then the, the SCP is taken out dried and then used as single cell protein uh, the food supplement commons that can be substituted in, into the food, uh, food diets and etc. So, solving the question we have spirulina B as the answer this is a factual question actually and uh, nostoc uh, see all the organisms are related to something uh, all, all the organism here given are some microorganisms or such kind of organism which can be uh, utilized in the food industry or as a considered as a food supplement but particularly speaking single cell protein if asked then spirulina is the answer nostoc spirogera and agaricus are different types of so like mushrooms are there algae is there gelatin is there etc so spirulina is the answer here